I wanted to get you a short video on an alternative way to create components. I realize that some of the students in the class are still struggling creating components, probably triple clicking on something or selecting all the geometry um, that you want to get inside the component and or selecting too much stuff. Um, so this is a, a way that I don't personally use in um, SketchUp, but it's uh, after playing with it a little bit this morning, it's actually kind of neat. So there's a make component tool in the toolbar. And if you click on that, you get this axis that you can put anywhere in the model and click. And when you do so, I'm just going to put it right here on the origin. When I click here, it's creating a component. You know, I could give it a component name or I don't have to. So I'm just going to do a create. And you can see now you're actually inside an open blank component. Uh, you can tell because this little dotted, um, you know, cube around it. So if I hit R for rectangle, I'm drawing inside the component. And I'm just going to make that wireframe that we made in the start of the um, class 2. So this is going to be, uh, let's see, this is going to be 20 by 24. I think I got that oriented wrong. Let's see. Yeah. No, that's right. 20, 24 deep, 20 wide. Okay, so we're inside the component and we're adding stuff inside the component. So I'm going to do my press pull by pressing P, typing in 34.5 and enter. So now all I have to do is hit my space bar and click on these faces to delete all the faces to get our wireframe. Um, now I'm just going to click outside and do a close component. So I didn't have to triple click on anything. I basically created the component up front by using this tool. So let me do the cabinet sides. Um, just to show you again. So the thing is, this tool is not uh, available. It's grayed out. If I have a component selected, you can see if I click on the wireframe, I have a component selected. I can't create a new component. If I click away from it, now I can create a new component up front. So I have a choice of where to start with this uh, coordinate system. I'm just going to put this in the corner of the wireframe do a create so we are inside a blank component so I'm going to press R for rect I can still use the wireframe as a guide here uh, I'm going to do a P for push pull push that in three quarters of an inch I'll do a T for tape and come up three from here click on this edge and go over three and press enter R for rect and draw a rectangle to cut our kick out of the cabinet and did a press pull to get rid of that. So now all I have to do is close this component. So I'm clicking outside of it anywhere, right clicking outside of it anywhere and do a close component. Um, so if I want to make a copy, same way, click on it, M for move, hit control or option, drag this over to the other side. I'm going to erase my guides by pressing G. Um, and if I had tags going, I could have had a, you know, a wireframe. And I'm going to make another tag for my casework. And now I'm going to hit my space bar, select this uh, wireframe component, and I'm going to move that into my casework. I'm sorry, I should have moved that into my wireframe. Okay, and I'm going to click, shift click on the two casework pieces, move that into casework. So you can see nothing's different except for the procedure of making the component. You, you essentially make the component ahead of time by using this tool. So if I click on this, I get this little axis that I click somewhere in the model. I do a create component is created. I'm inside the component. Now I can draw to my heart's content whatever I want to be inside that component. Then um, right click 
outside of it, close component, and that component is done.